Yo, 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 what is up, Midnight Gamers? GT by Shaq here, and we're back today with another glitch. Now, this time, but if I made a few videos showing you how to do vehicles, how to do this, how to make money, well, today I'm gonna show you how to sell those same vehicles with clean plates, clean, dup clean dupes, so you, you don't get banned, you don't get dupe detected, or none like that from Rockstar. If you if you see my last video, the last glitch that I did, the last while you see I have three same easy right here. Now I'm gonna leave um I'm gonna leave a link in the description um about those glitch. I believe it's gonna be I'm just gonna put it as the very first two link inside of the description is gonna be those two glitch. One the very first one that I did. Well, the the first one that I did is um is a solo version, and the second one is um. Is one where you're gonna need a friend. It's way easier than the very first one, but it's just that the only downside is that you need a friend. You need somebody to help you do it with. But it's way faster. You could get it done in like what 10, 15, 20 seconds. The only downside, like I said, is just that you need a friend in order to get it done. There is a third glitch that I posted, so I'm, I'm just gonna leave all that link in the description. But anyways, as you can see, the last video that I did. All these vehicles got the same plates, very same plates, very same plates. Now, in order to do this, if you've done the first glitch that I did solo, then you should have the same like stuff that you need in order to get this done for that glitch. So it's pretty much the same shit that you need you need the office garage you need the office with the office garage and all the extra stuff you need the the avenger to get inside you're gonna need the mobile operations center you know the regular shit but anyway let's get this glitch started it's my first time doing this i'm gonna try my best to keep this um keep this video straight with no edits or anything it's a pretty quick it's a pretty quick quick process but it's just it takes time so anyway let's do this first thing we're gonna do we're gonna enter one of the um, um one of the cars that you have inside your facility that you don't need. As you can see, I got a bunch of buffaloes, a bunch of free buffaloes that I don't need. So we're just gonna enter one of those cars and we're gonna enter the Avenger with those with our car. Right, let's select I don't matter. It don't matter which car you select. Let me just choose this one. We can enter the Avenger with the car. Just hit left on the D-pad and enter the Avenger or whatever it is on Xbox. I don't know, but just enter the Avenger. Hey and then you just you're not gonna do anything. Don't change anything. Just exit the Avenger. Enter the Avenger. Exit the Avenger. Simple. After you've done that, the next step, we're going to enter back that same car and we're going to drive it outside. We're going to drive the same car now outside. And when we're outside, we're going to return this vehicle. But first, before you return the vehicle, we're going to need a, um, we're going to need to find an NPC car. So like I said, you're just going to grab any vehicle. Oh, it don't matter. Come on, stop. Just grab any vehicle. Once you have a car, what you're gonna do is you're gonna return that vehicle to your to your facility. So we're just gonna return that vehicle right there that we just dro that we drove out with to the facility. Just return it back, and then we're gonna same NPC car, whatever whatever car you took, you're just gonna drive that shit into the facility now. Now for this part, as you see, like uh, I don't know if I mentioned. I probably forgot to mention but you do need a you do need a full facility your facility do need to be four i believe it holds seven vehicles in total so yeah it needs to be four so that when you're driving a vehicle in the npc car and you're going to get this message now what you're going to do here is that you're going to accept this message you're going to accept this message but you're not going to change any vehicle inside of your facility I repeat myself, you will accept this message, but you will not change any vehicle inside of your facility. So I'm going to accept this message. 
It's gonna take the car. It's gonna go through the whole process of taking the car and all that shit inside. But when when it gets to that point where it gives you the option to select the vehicle that you want to replace, you're not gonna replace anything. You're just gonna press circle, or to go back and exit that that screen, or whatever button it is on Xbox. You just exit the screen. For PlayStation, it's circle to go back. So as you see, it's gonna bring you on this screen right here where it gives you the option. All you're gonna do is press circle to go back. Just back out of it. Just back out of it. Don't change any vehicle or anything inside of your facility. Then we're gonna go back into, and then you come back to that same car. You enter the car now, and now we're gonna enter the Avenger again. Now this time when we enter the Avenger, it should glitch us out and it should just enter, it's just your character should enter the Avenger, not the car, not you with the vehicle. Just your character should enter the Avenger. It should glitch you out. So let's enter the Avenger now and see. As you see, it glitched me out. We're going to do the same process. Like I said, if you, I'm going to leave the link to the very first glitch that I did. It's pretty much the same process. After it glitches you out inside, you're just going to walk up to the cockpit. We're going to accept the mess into the cockpit, but it's going to glitch us out. It's not going to put us in the cockpit. As you see, it glitched us out. We just got to wait a few seconds now, and then it's going to spawn us outside. It's going to spawn us outside the facility. Boom. See? Spawn us outside of the facility. And this is the same look. If you notice from the first glitch video, like I said, I'm going to leave the link. It's the same location that you spawn outside inside of that video as well. So what we're going to do now, like I said, you do need an office. I'm just going to register. I'm going to request my buzzard. Because what you're going to do now is you're going to you're going to fly over to your office. Well, I'm going to fly with my I don't know what you're going to take. You can probably just hop in an NPC vehicle or some shit. But I suggest just using a buzzer or well it do spawn you close to the um the airport so you could probably use the airport and get a plane or some shit from over there and just go to your office real quick. And once you get to the office, once you get to your office, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna land this shit or whatever you used to get over here. Now before you enter your office, what you're gonna do is you're gonna request one of those easy. One of the dirty vehicles that you're trying to change the plates for. You're just going to request it because I don't know what kind of vehicle you have dupe. So whatever, whichever one it is, you're just going to request it. For me, I have easy's dupe, whatever vehicle that you can hurt. I heard some people is actually duping the deluxos. Uh, this shit just lagged and glitched. I don't know what the hell that was just now. Bomb. Yeah, I, don't, I heard some people is duping the deluxos and shit. For me, I did the easy. So whatever vehicle you got, you're just going to request one of those and have them delivered. Have it delivered. You need something, huh? When he arrives, let me know. I don't know what's the order. This I don't know what's the order of it. Like when are you facing him? The one is to the left. I don't know which one is this. So I'm just gonna request anyone. Well, you just request one it's of the people. You. you wait until the vehicle shows up, and then we're gonna enter the office. Oh, that shit spawned real quick. That's crazy. See, it's over there. Once it spawned, we now now we're gonna enter the office. Now, after entering after entering your office, you're just gonna go down to one of your office garage, enter your office garage. When you enter your office garage, it should spawn you back over to your facility and glitch you all the way back over to your facility. So as you see now that I'm, I'm inside of my office, what's going to happen now is you're just going to go to the, um, just enter one of your office garage. It's going to, if everything is being done right and everything is being done correct, when you enter your office garage, it should spawn you back over into your facility.
see it glitched me back into my facility I can't move whoops this is a problem oh there we go I thought for a second that shit wasn't gonna work you saw y'all saw I was I was stuck but anyways after you spawn back to your facility right here what you're gonna do before you move around and do anything we're just gonna return that vehicle that we thing to the to the to your, just return the vehicle the vehicle that we requested before we enter the office just return it back to to the storage and then we're gonna go back next step we're gonna go back to that same very very first um car that we was using in the beginning which for me was the buffalo we're gonna go back to that we're gonna enter it and we're gonna change something on top of the car Just gonna go just go to the vehicle workshop for playstation is right in the d-pad you're gonna press to change something in the vehicle i don't know what it is on xbox what button it is on xbox you gotta press both playstation just press, press right in the d-pad and you're gonna change something on top of the vehicle and then we're just gonna go back after changing something we're just gonna go to the easy and we're gonna drive the easy outside as I exit the vehicle, as I exit the um, facility right now with the vehicle, the plate should change. So after we enter the, the buffalo just now that I just did to change some on the top of the car, what we're going to do is just enter the easy or whatever car that you have duped, dirty dupe that you're trying to change the place from. We're going to drive it outside now. As you drive it outside is when the this is when the plates you see as you see just switch boom you see for yourself in the video it, it literally just switch literally just change now in order for us to this is why you need the moc now because what we're gonna do now we're gonna request the moc i don't know how to do that it's been a minute since i requested the, the damn moc yeah we just request the moc the reason why you're requesting the moc right yeah, the reason why you're requesting the um the MOC is just just so that you're able to save the vehicle. As you see, the glitch actually works. The plates change as soon as I drove outside. I don't think I have anything. I shouldn't have any vehicle inside. I think I probably have an impressor or some shit. Let me see. Oh, I don't have anything inside of the MOC, which is good. I don't know what happened with that part. I, I literally just glitched up by that by that that section right there. I had to um close my app and rejoin a whole new session and all. I, I don't know why it was taking so long to so damn long to load. I tried joining a friend session but it won't it was it wasn't letting me but once you do get to that part with a mobile operation center what you're supposed to do after is just literally literally just drive inside because you're just going into mobile operation center for, so that the game is able to save when you enter the mobile operation center you should see the saving you know the yellow saving loading thingy at the bottom right of your screen that shit should pop up that's literally just to be able to save the progress and save the game and everything so that the car and none of don't like glitch out and none happens when you enter the mobile operation center you're not supposed to change anything at all on top of the vehicle don't change anything like i said do not change anything you're just entering the mobile operation center and then you just exit the mobile operation center with the vehicle you just you entering it just so that the car is able to save the progress is able to save and then you just enter back your vehicle and you just exit the mobile operation center and then drive your vehicle back into your facility i repeat that shit again when you enter the mobile operation center do not save anything on top of the do not change anything on top of your car I repeat myself you enter the mobile operation center do not change anything on top of your car you're just going to exit the mobile operation center with the vehicle and you're going to drive it back into your facility the only reason you're going into the mobile operation center is that is so that the game is able to save. Now with all that said and done, I just want well, just want to say thank you for watching. 
Don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe.